Hey all my Crimsonites and welcome to the Crimson Cure channel where we embrace our femininity, increase our womanly values, and celebrate our brothers. So join me on our feminine journey to learn, heal, and grow. Hey there, my Crimson Ice, and welcome to the Crimson Cure channel. I'm your hostess, femininity coach and author, The Crimson Cure, and this is my perspective. So, you know, this isn't a video to show. This is just a screen to read. It says, woman allegedly sends an email to her ex's college in hopes of him losing his scholarship. So supposedly this was the, looked like an email that was sent I suggest you drug test your players, blank, blank, what I guess his name, your newest commit sales, distributes, and uses marijuana on a daily basis. So, yeah, but he'll fail the test and lose his scholarship. So that's enough for me. Okay. So. This is just example uh, among thousands of examples that we have over social media um, about the vindictiveness and the pettiness and the contempt that a lot of black women have for black men, whether they are dating them, whether these men are related to them, it doesn't matter the relationship a lot of times there's still this contempt that they have and this level of vindictiveness that they have. Um, and I'm going to speak on the, the, the German lady. They say she's a German lady. Um, Soraya is her name. I'm going to speak on that. And saying that American women were not competition. And I would further to say black women are not, which is why I titled it the way that I did. Black women can't compete where they don't compare. And see, immediately uh, black women would become upset. Well, these other women aren't better than us. And, you know, a litany of excuses afterwards. But it's stuff like this that gives people the impression, even if they are not present in the black community, even if they are not even present in America to witness anything firsthand, these are the images. This is the appearance value, once again, that black women have placed about herself. Nobody told this lady to do what she did, nor to post it. However, she did both. She. Uh, supposedly sent a message to her ex-boyfriend's college hoping that he lose a scholarship. I mean, we have to think about that. They were boyfriend, girlfriend, probably in a situation ship, probably wasn't even that serious or that deep of a relationship to begin with. And they break up. We don't know why. It's a situation ship. It doesn't matter why, right? This is not a divorce. This is not a a devastation of a family. This is this is this is two people who was hooking up and they ain't hooking up no more, right? And so in her vindictiveness, in her like, oh, I'm gonna get back at you for whatever, she decides that his entire future needs to suffer because the relationship didn't go that way. Um, she didn't get something she wanted. Um, he said something she didn't like, did something she didn't like, whatever the case may be. And whatever her grievance or gripe was, whether it was real or imagined, it was enough in her mind that not only she, it wasn't good enough for her to maybe tell him off or, you know what I'm saying, block him on something or send a, you know, a mean text to him or whatever something that he could like blow off and be like, okay, whatever. We don't even talk no more. She decided that his future needed to not pan out 
the way he's trying to make it pan out because her and him are not together or whatever the case. See, it doesn't even matter the preceding thing. And we don't even know the preceding thing, right? Because whatever the thing was, the action was, whatever that preceded her doing it, you can almost guarantee 100% that it was unnecessary, that, that this is overkill for whatever happened before, if anything even happened before. Like we don't even know if anything even happened. That's the delusion. And it's stuff like this that illustrates just how collectively how black women kind of view black men in the first place. So it's interesting to me to hear about black women feeling a way about black men dating other women. Like that's odd to me that y'all feel attacked by something that another woman thinks about you. You know, I just find it odd that y'all be feeling some type of way when other women speak on y'all. But this is the this is what you this is what you do. This is this is the energy. This is the image. This is the you tell the world certain things. Y'all be on here doing stuff like this, thinking it's a flex. Y'all really be thinking y'all cute with these types of behaviors and then y'all support one another in the behavior so once again even if you yourself particularly are not doing it you don't call it out and then not only do you not call it out you support it you support it because look at the comment i feel her he probably did some crazy ish to her no woman acts like that just to act like that yes they do Yes, they do. Y'all do act like that just to act like that. Y'all do vindictive things just to do them. Y'all do be getting back at people just to be petty. Y'all do be, you know what I'm saying, doing things or saying things or trying to ruin things. Y'all y'all try to end people's, you know, futures and all that kind of stuff. Get people fired from their jobs. You, 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 get, you know what I'm saying? Trying to get this um, young man to lose his scholarship. You know, y'all do be calling up to people's, you know what I'm saying, jobs to try to get them fired. Y'all do be, you know what I'm saying, trying to expose people or, or, or you stay trying to get him in trouble some type of way or, you know what I'm saying, call the police if you if you know that maybe he got some, you know, something underhanded going on, you'll call the police about it. If it's not calling an authority on it. If you decide peace, you will call his main chick to tell her, you know what I'm saying, that, you know, you'll blow up his spot. So either way, y'all be trying to blow guys spots up when we was all good a week ago. You was down. You know what I'm saying? Everything was cool. And then once something don't go your way or whatever the case may be, now it's all this vindictiveness. Now it's all this, oh, let me get you back. Let me hurt you. And y'all don't even be hurt. That's the other thing. Y'all be hurt trying to hurt people, but y'all don't be hurt. Y'all feelings don't even be hurt. Y'all just be getting mad. Pettily. So petty, petty, petty anger. But y'all don't really, y'all hearts don't be broken. Y'all hearts don't be broken because you don't be caring about the guy like that. No way. So your heart don't be broke. See what I'm saying? Yeah, because it was never that deep for you. It's just let me let me do something because this is the type of character that y'all be having. This is the character that you have. A lot of y'all, you know what I'm saying, are just degenerate people. Just sad enough to say, a lot of y'all are just degenerate people. So you think of degenerate things to do. You're vindictive, you know what I'm saying, petty evil people. So you think of vindictive, petty, evil things to do to other people. And you'll use any excuse, you'll use any situation in order to do that. Instead of moving on, instead of just leaving somebody alone, if they're not treating you the way you want to be treated or blah, blah, blah. Y'all do everything believe. <laughs> you do everything believe. Like if, if he not treat if the dude not treating you the way you want to be treated and you feel like you're being treated bad, just leave. 
but y'all will stay for extra treatment so that you can have a story to tell and so that you can be like so when you tell your story and then you tell what you did then everybody be like oh i understand why you did that like no because the question really need to be asked why did you stay x amount of time for x type of treatment why did you do that who had a gun in your head nobody so you stayed over there to do what to be mad like that's the part that get me. This is not even a woman scorn type situation. Like it, it don't even be deep. Y'all do not like these dudes. Anytime y'all can quit dudes because y'all borrowing money or, you know what I'm saying? Over, over small things, y'all could just block a dude or get the quote unquote ick as y'all say, and all this other kind of stuff. Like yeah, yeah, it, it's, it, it can't be that deep. Y'all can't be that emotionally invested. Like you're not, you can't convince me. Y'all leave dudes too quick. Y'all be cheating on them too fast. Y'all are not invested emotionally. Y'all just petty. And this is why that lady said what she said. And y'all get mad at her. <laughs> but what for? Because every, and we're going to talk about what Miss Soraya said. Everything she said was basic Betty. It was basic Betty stuff. She did not say nothing that was profound. I swear to God she didn't. Anyway, jump down in the comment section. Let me know what you think. Like, share, subscribe to the channel if you have not. Once again, I'm your host, the Crimson Cure, and this was my perspective. Bye-bye, Crimsonites.